Jessica Boyer with your SCV News break for Thursday, August 3rd. A local teen has taken to social media by posting numerous theft and vandalism incidents, and deputies said Thursday morning he was taken into custody. Businesses affected include Valencia Lanes, Popeyes, Domino's, and multiple liquor stores. The teenager would film the incidents, sometimes pulling down a display and making a mess, for example, and then posting the incidents to his Instagram page. SCV sheriffs are investigating the case and still seeking the boy's accomplices. Santa Clarita Valley drivers can expect delays on the 5 freeway early Monday morning. Caltrans has planned a complete shutdown of the 5 northbound from the 14 to Lyons Avenue. The closure will last from 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. and Caltrans will have detour signs posted. The shutdown is part of the lane rehabilitation project which will repair lanes on the I-5 from the 14 to Parker Road in Cass Stake. We are going to take a quick break, but when we come back, check out a fun event coming up this weekend. Plus, COC has added, added some new classes. See what they are coming up. Hey, George. There's breaking news. AM 1220 KHTS. I'm George Cummings with breaking news here in the Santa Clarita Valley. As it turns out we have an emergency situation Let's going go. on. Ready in five, four. Breaking news from the Santa Clarita Valley. There's an emergency situation happening in Saugus right now, and our news crew is on the scene with more information. Welcome back. This Friday, enjoy blues, jazz, and opera cultivating into the Shakespeare in the Park next weekend with the presentation of Shakespeare's Othello. Bring the family a picnic and enjoy the open-air free performances. Admission is free to all events. Hi, I'm David Steers. And I'm Erin McBride Africa. And we're with the Santa Clarita Shakespeare. And we ask you to come on out to the festival this summer. We've got opera. We've got blues, we've got jazz this weekend, and then next weekend we've got... Othello! Shakespeare in the Park. This is our eighth season out here in the community, and we want you to come on out, bring a chair, bring a blanket. Shows are free. It's a wonderful night under the stars in the evening summer air. Bring a picnic, bring the family, and we're looking for your support. This year we've been hit with some challenges. Yes, we've had fires and we have um, extra costs this summer. We've been hit with uh, increase in our electric and our fencing and our porta potties and we need to make up $7,500 by the end of the summer. We're almost halfway there and we need your help. Yes, so if you can contribute and help keep us going, we would love that and even more, come on out and see our shows. Come on out, it's a great time under the stars, seeing some great work, Concerts, Shakespeare, you can't beat that, can you? Nope. Thank you. Among the nearly 2,000 class sections being offered by College of the Canyons, this fall there are 57 non-credit class sections, marking a 36% increase from the fall 2016 semester. Free and open to all community members, COC Continuing Education and Non-Credit courses cover a wide range of subjects, such as English as a Second Language, GED Preparation, Basic Skills, Computer Applications, and Web Technology, as well as Citizenship Preparation classes. All non-credit courses have been designed to help students and community members improve their language and study skills and or transition into a collegiate acad academic setting. For more information about the college's selection of non-credit classes, visit the college's website. Now turning to weather, Thursday saw warm temperatures in the 100 degrees and a 34% humidity. The weekend will cool down slightly into the low 90s, but next week will warm up to the mid 90s. Clouds and the slight chance of thunderstorms are expected to clear up by Friday. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Jessica Boyer.